Hello everyone, it's Carrie, and if you watched some of my previous haul videos, you may know that we are on a tour of the southeast or traveling through the southeast in an RV. And while we're on our trips, we love to stop off at some vintage shops and antique malls and thrift shops to look for craft supplies and art supplies that I can use on my dolls. So we are currently in South Carolina in Hartwell or at Hartwell Lake in South Carolina in Townville. And we're on our way back, sw swinging back home for a couple of months, so we decided to take advantage and see some of the sites and s visit some of the vintage shops. So here is some of the ribbon that I picked up at one of the shops, and I've just been really into vintage ribbon and lace lately. Um, if it speaks to me, I just have to pick it up, and these were super cheap for three of them. I, I can't remember the cost, but it was probably uh, under a dollar. And I just liked, really liked the pattern and how they were trimmed in lace. And so I'll definitely use these on a project. I've been finding as I pick these things up, they tend to inspire me to make something. So I'm not sure of the age or how old these are. I, I would guess maybe 70s. I, I'm not sure. If anybody can tell, let me know in the comment section what you think. So in one of the vintage shops I went in, they had some just tons of fabric and I was kind of overwhelmed, but I knew that I did need some denim because I, a couple times I wanted to make some jeans for dolls that I didn't have the fabric. So I just picked up a, a bolt or a, I guess this is maybe like a yard or two of denim for 75 cents. Can't beat that. Then one shop had a bunch of these fabric paints. I have a bunch of the, um, the one in the middle, the particular brand, I've never tried these other brands, but it's, it looks like the same thing, medium green, shiny. It's kind of like puff paint, but for fabric and craft projects, it says. But I have a bunch of scribbles, and I really like how they worked. I use them every once in a while on my doll projects. So these were 50 cents each, and they looked... I, like I could tell that they would be usable. There were a ton of different colors and a lot of them look like they might have been dried out but these look like they were still pretty good. And I really loved that blue and I loved the greens. And one of them happened to have a doll stand. How cool is that? So it looks like an older one but this will definitely come in handy at my conventions. I think I paid a dollar for it. And this is something that I was just completely blown away and thrilled about. It's this super beautiful, soft yarn. It has a lot of wool in it. And I tend to use alpaca yarn, but when I saw this, I'm like, wow, this is really a similar color and softness to what I currently use. So hopefully it'll work just as well. But I, I really dig how it's, uh, some of it's twisted thin and some of it's really thick. So there you can see it's 22% wool. So it looks like it would be really fun to make some sort of interesting hairstyle with the thin part, the thin and thick, uh, take advantage of that. But as you can see, as it unravels, it looks like it would be brushable. It does thin out, but or sh uh, what do you call it? Shed, but once you shed out that bit then it's nice and a, a good length of actual hair so it's super soft and just like really shiny and these colors are just gorgeous I always use ivory and then it had the black which I was running out of my alpaca in black and then it had this beautiful like blue gray color I can't wait to use it on like a Goulia or one of the other gray monster high dolls these were a dollar each and if a, a lot of the the yarns that I use for the doll hair, they run uh, about $7 a, a roll, but you can use a coupon. Uh, but th so a, a dollar, you really couldn't beat that. But like I said, it's very, very soft. When you unravel it, it looks like it'll make some good hair. And if you add a little bit of product to it, like a little bit of gel, it'll even help it look a little bit more realistic as well. And then there's this like taupey tan color I just if you see it in person it's just really shiny it doesn't pick up the shininess as much as it does but it's like a really soft natural shine loved it 
So this was what I was super excited about. I love one thing when you go to these thrift places or vintage shops, they always have these bundles or often have these bundles of different craft supplies, like half used su supplies by um, that have been donated by some. Um, I just always imagine that it's somebody who just kind of wanted to get rid of uh, or was really into crafting and decided to just downsize. So I was super excited when I saw, I really only saw the lace from the outside, but I could tell that there was a lot of stuff. So there I'm applauding because I was really excited about this particular, very excited, I guess, but it's this fringe and it's camo. So I thought that was so neat and it's stretchy, which also got me excited, I guess. And then when I pulled it out, you could see that it had some uh, lace attached to it. I guess I'm going to pull it out in a second. Sorry. Uh, there was this like eyelet lace, which I can always use. It makes a nice little skirt or fringe on a, on a blouse or there, there's a lot of things that you can do with that. This lace was just very pretty to me. Beautiful lace trim. Definitely we'll use that on some tattered fairy projects. Love it. This lace was also very gorgeous. So at this point, I'm super excited to get these beautiful laces. It's very soft and I believe these are caught all cotton lace. But even if they're like polyester or cheaper ones, it's just a very pretty pattern. So this is it had this particular bundle had a bunch of rickrack, which is why I almost didn't buy it. I, I never really cared much for rickrack, but I'm starting to get into it lately, using it as a little accent on my tattered fairy skirts. So it was neat to have a, a bunch of different kinds in this one. You'll see more in a little bit. So this was very exciting to me. It was an interesting ribbon. And it looks like by the card, the card that it's wrapped around is very old, but the ribbon itself doesn't look like it is. So I, I can't really pinpoint the age of it, but it was very pretty for it. It's not embroidered, of course, but it looks like it's some purple flowers printed onto the ribbon. And it's really lovely. It's very silky and soft. And I think it would make a nice little piece on some of the tattered fairy costumes or as maybe gathered up as a skirt itself or just an accent around the waist of a doll dress. Lots of different things that can be done with this. So pretty. I loved it even though it wasn't embroidered. I just think it's very lovely. And looking at the card, I, I'm not familiar with this company or but it says that it's three yards and there's a date 11 18 69 so I don't think it's that old but it would be neat if it was so really like that so there's more to come. So there's this interesting, it's like a ribbon trim kind of thing. It's not, it looks like elastic, but it's not. I'm not really, I'm not a seamstress. So I'm not really familiar with a lot of these trims. I'm sure there's particular purposes for them, but I'm not really sure what it's used for. But this one's very pretty. It's a nice soft pink and it would make a good trim on like a corset or just a design down the front of a corset or on the tattered fairy skirts as one of the trims or one of the pieces that hang from it or just any kind of embellishment. There's also this red kind, which I don't have a lot of red in my collection. So it's always nice to get some red trims. For some reason, I have like a ton of pinks and blues and but I, bet I don't have a lot of red. So um, this is a uh, Oh, I can't remember the name of this, but here's some trim here in a, like an aqua blue or like a lighter blue. There's a name for this and I can't remember what it's called, <laughs> but it's good to have. 
and then back to my camo trim uh, ruffle at this point I realized that there was the elastic lace attached so it was kind of unraveling, so you could use it with or without, I think. You could take off that lace, but I, I love the lace too. I was super excited about this because it I can just, my mind just spins with ideas of how I can use it, but you can see this, this cute like crocheted looking lace attached to the top of it and it's all elastic. So it'd make a really cute like mini skirt or uh, even like a little halter top or something. So at some point, you'll see this come up on one of my dolls, I'm sure. I'm applauding again <laughs> because I'm such a dork because I'm very excited about that. So here are some bias tapes of an orange and ivory. I always like to get orange. I'm really drawn to it, and I have some particular orange fabric or ribbons that I picked up at a vintage shop that I'm excited to use, so I'll add that to that. Pretty soon you'll see an orange doll. <laughs> so there's more of the rickrack and more bias tape. This was an interesting sort of fabric. It's it's kind of like ribbon and kind of like fabric. I guess it, I think it was some fabric that they cut down and then just wound it around this card. But it's a very pretty sort of satin or maybe a, a raw silk kind of fabric. So I'm looking forward to using that on something. It's very interesting. And it's a, if you can't tell, oh, it is a little stretchy. And it's kind of a very soft lavender. Not sure what it is, but I'll definitely use it. <laughs> Still more to come. Here is some more of that Rick Rack. This one I was really drawn to because it had this interesting pattern in it. It looks like it was kind of embroidery or it's this raised pink, sort of a very like dusty rose pink color. So that was super pretty. I've just been, like I said, I'm just a little more drawn to Rick Rack lately since I've been doing the Tattered Fairies. And then here's some simple red ribbon. Like I said, I don't have a lot of ribbon or red, so I welcome that. Here's some more rickrack. This is like a super large rickrack. I'm really excited about it. I don't know what in the world I would do with it, but it's so fun to have in the collection. Nice and thick and big. And there were two colors of this. I think there's a, a yellow. I'll show you in a moment. It's a little off scale to use in a tattered fairy skirt, so I'm not sure what I'll do with it, but I guess we'll see. Someday it may inspire me to do something. I was just interested by this particular card that it was wrapped around. It looks very old. Here's some more of that little ribbon stuff that I'm not sure what it is. I think it's some sort of like bias tape type thing that has a purpose, but I'll use it as ribbon. And speaking of bias tape, here's some more in white. Some more white ribbon. And there's that yellow rickrack larger kind. It reminds me of like the 70s. It's just very old vintage looking. I just like how big and thick it is. So fun. What else do we have? Oh, here's some more rickrack in black. Like I said, there was a lot and I almost didn't get it just because of that, but I'm glad that I did. This one looks a little bit different as far as the size and shape. And then there's this really pretty aqua. This is one of my very favorite colors, if not my favorite color, this pretty uh, aqua blue or blue green. So here I'm just going to pull out some of my favorite things. Of course, my favorite <laughs> favorite thing in the whole box is this camo ruffle with the lace and this purple ribbon, purple flower heart ribbon. 
And of course the yarns. I'll just be pulling out some of my favorite stuff. Oh, and the vintage ribbon that I started with. So I hope you guys enjoy these haul videos. We are traveling back home for a couple of months, but we'll be setting out in April for a convention in DC. So hopefully we'll get to do some more shopping then. And I hope you guys are having a great month. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, I'd love it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day. Bye.